Okay, so this is Herbie Mudge here, and today I'm going to show you a salamander metamorph setup, tank setup. So I have them in this, I'm not quite sure what it is, critter cage. I bought it for like six bucks or something at my local uh, pet store. And um, I have them on paper towel because the cocoa bark, um, they can eat and get impactions. And you don't want that happening. And I have them, um, this little water bowl, not too deep, but just deep enough for those guys. I have this ter um, terrarium sphagnum moss to keep the humidity up. And I have this um, piece of bark I found in my yard. I boiled it in boiling water to kill any bad bacteria and um, bugs that can hurt the salamanders. So I'll show you the salamanders. I got three little guys under here. Um, I think that, I believe that one is a mole salamander. And those two, that one and that one, are small mouse. So I believe I'm not 100% correct, but I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to put these guys away so I don't bug them anymore. And over here is where they used to be. Oh, and there's one right here. Here's a, we got, we have one that still has gills. Here, I'll grab it. One that still have, has gills, and then two are, I think, about to metamorph, but I'm not not sure if they're ready yet, or they're not ready, but this guy still has gills, as you can see. Right there, gills. And switching over. That, there's the one that I think is ready anytime soon, but he might still have some small gills. And we have three. Another guy likes to hide, so I can't find him. And I feed these little guys, or like, tiny chopped up pieces of red wiggler worm just um have something to eat so that's the video and um herb buds is out